everybody what's going on Johnny Silver uh, back here again I did some uh, flea marketing today and I figured I'd just do a video about some of my hauls and uh, talk about how it went I actually uh, on our way out we took uh, what you see here in front of you this Morgan the American Silver Eagle and the Peace Dollar with us and also the uh, pocket pinger that way we could just go ahead and you know test the stuff against the app and against uh, just how it sounds so that was pretty cool and um, of course we didn't have our wonderful CCT slide with us uh, to try anything out with but that's okay I would have liked to though it was surprising uh, a lot some of the uh, people actually objected to using that on it but most of them uh, went ahead and said it was okay I also have a tale of uh, caution uh, for you all out there, especially if you're new and getting into this, because, um, well, we'll just start with some of the more interesting items, I guess. You got a, some kind of 10 cent piece here. Well, the thing about it is, and, and cautionary tale, is uh, I got these all from the same source. Oh, we'll put this on here too. I think I might have talked about this another time. This is a, a, a person I've dealt with who's a, you know, a flea marketer, a dealer. And uh, somebody went and took a bunch of crap coins like this. And I've seen them at other dealer uh whatchamacallits today uh, and for actual silver right physical silver traded because what he was giving her in these were going to be an equivalent weight and it would get her started in this kind of business and she could just go ahead and start you know making buku bucks this is a little silver coin silver coin silver Right? Did you know this coin here, 1949 to 1965 yen? Okay. He was he, he had told her at first, right? And this is when that she bought this. Okay. That this had gold content in it, like an American gold eagle. And that it was common currency and he were uh, referred back to like the st gaudens uh, that we all know about but that that's what they did in japan kind of playing off the key that you know in the um that we once rocked 90 percent silver at one time so um we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and test these out but there's gonna be i, I can tell you right now that that her claims about these is probably all bullshit. I, I did not pay that kind of money. I kind of cleared her up on it, but we're going to go ahead and test them anyway because it'll be fun and I get to use my beautiful CCT slide. Um, so, just a little side note. I got uh, in my change here <laughs> two Roosevelt's. Dates are on right off the bat. So here's how I got my uh, two Roosevelt's in change, 64. And that is, uh, I went to the bank and I asked for silver, uh, if they had any um, halves. And the lady said, no, why? She's like, Do you, are you one of them people looking for the uh, uh, silver in them? I said, yeah. I like silver quite a bit. All right, so back to the thing. Had a quick interruption there. We had, um, I, I asked if they had any 50 cent pieces, and she said no, and wanted to know whether or not I was into the uh, looking for silver like a lot of people do. And I said, yeah. And she said, well, you never guess what I got in a, a deposit today. It was uh, from some local, uh, you know, like hot dog company or whatever, a, a restaurant, uh, two silver dimes. 
1956, I think, and a 1964. So I thought, well, that was pretty cool. So I gave her a dollar, and she gave me back in change these two silver dimes. So I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. That ain't too bad of a stir. So I do have a, some really nice, uh, I think are nice uh, ones coming up. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Franklins. Uh, and this Franklin here, I, I bought. It was just kind of loose. A lot of people at the flea markets had a, a bunch of these. I was really surprised. A bunch of Kennedys out there. Uh, I, the other thing I was really surprised by, I saw a dealer who had, oh, I want to say maybe... 30 or 40 uh, 10 ounce Scottsdale stackers. Uh, he was selling, I think, the full Camby gram bars of gold. I saw a guy selling a, uh, oh shit, a half ounce of uh, a half ounce American Gold Eagle. And I picked me up this a barber quarter, or not a quarter, half. I haven't, uh, I had a barber piece and uh, it's come up missing. Huh. It might have been bought. I was doing some stuff with uh, some people trying to help them out and uh, I think it might have gotten nabbed, but I'm just going to go ahead and say, nah, I probably did have them. I've lost it. So, but I got this one. I, I didn't have one of these yet. I mean, it's slick as hell. It really does, it's not worth a damn thing, but, you know, I hadn't had one of them yet. So, sure, well. What the hell? Me and my son went flea market, so we got. I tried to get some cool channel stuff like, uh, I don't know, like Peter Indian and there's Cowboy 2. So I, that's fun. Really, that we didn't get a whole lot of uh, any kind of background stuff that I was looking for, though. There were a lot of people, though, also selling like the Atmex. Uh, I saw people selling bullion. I saw, let's see, some crazy ass prices out there. Um, but yeah, just regular straight up bullion out there. One guy had a painted uh, silver eagle, and the it was bad around the rim, and oh my god, that, that was coming off. It was ugly. It needed to be dipped to get that thing off, and it's still been an ugly coin. And he wanted like 32 bucks for it. I'm like, no, I might not do that. But there were a lot of deals to be had out there. Uh, one, I did pick up a. Uh, well, I don't. I couldn't rightly tell you. Uh, I don't mean to pause like that, but uh, so one of these I took with me for that ring, and one of these other ones I bought. I think this one is. Yeah, this is the one I bought. Yeah, it's got that streak. Uh, Much more color on it. camera crashed and shut everything off so yep, I got this one that's nice the guy freaked out a little bit though about me wanting to do the pocket pinger on it and I'm like man if you want me to buy it I'm gonna have to test it first he's like well I know it is and I'm like yeah good for you I, mean, I wasn't trying to be rude about it, but I definitely, uh, you know, I got the damn thing. I'd like to, to give it a whirl. Let's hear this uh, Berber one while we got it. There were some uh, good deals to be had. I still got uh, some of the better ones coming up here. Interesting things like the old ready wire pen. That's just fun. We got uh, see, a very special thing. We got a golden uh, pickle. This is a golden pickle, yeah, yeah. I figure this is going to be some kind of award. A golden pickle. I wonder what it means if you've won a golden pickle. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? If you've seen the movie Clerks, well, anyway, 
but that's definitely going to be an award on the channel. So we got that going on. Um, my boy went shopping with me today. And he picked up a uh, Morgan himself. So I got his stuff right here. Let's see. Let's say he paid maybe like 28 for it. I don't remember. No, I think he made it was like 32 bucks. That's an all right looking one. Morgans, are, I think, are pretty expensive anyway. I don't know how this one opens. It's a pain in the ass. I know he had it open. There we are. Definitely been around the block. Seen worse. But not terrible. It's probably one worth buying. He did anyway. So that was pretty cool. And then he got um, this. Look at that. Can you believe he got himself a proof? Franklin now I'm going to take this out of the package because I don't like the package that way that's packaged to begin with and uh, I got whatchamacallit here for it I don't like these, uh, this kind of packaging for coins at all. There we are. Look at that. That is just something else, you know. Let's get in on it a little bit more. Now this one was, uh, he had it for 25 bucks and my son got it for 20. There's a little shit up there or something. I don't know how you would get that off, whatever that is up there. Or if you could even get it off, I don't know. So, I'm going to get that right into a capsule, though, because uh, that's definitely something that he wanted to do with it. So, I got his. I'll put it in there. That'll make it easier to play with and take a look at. I'm just like, well, you know, I had to get a little... I was a little jealous of that one. So, I ended up getting my own. And this one was, I think, a... I don't remember the year 56, maybe? Yeah. And he wanted uh, 35 for that one. And I paid 30 for it because I also bought <laughs> another one. I probably overpaid for them, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what the, the price is on them, and I didn't look it up. I've always wanted a really nice Franklin, and uh, just because he had multiples, I had to get <laughs> the two. He had a, well, all three, actually. My son bought the third one. So, it was just a must get, you know what I mean? So, we got it.
you know, not graded, but nice. So I think that's pretty cool anyway. We'll put it in that. The, uh, one of the things I don't like about those uh, things was, uh, you know, I got this one here when I had gotten it home. It was like riding way up high in this cardboard thing. I'm like, well, I ain't just, that ain't working for me. So we'll get rid of that. And let's see. I picked up a 1943 steel penny for a book. I figure what the hell. I don't buy a lot of them. I got two of them now. So. And then we got uh, Kennedy, which I picked up for 15. I thought that the half prices were kind of heavy because uh, I also bought that one off the guy. And this one. And this one. Another Kennedy. Interested in uh, how the Walking Liberty one looks. I was excited about that one. I don't have one that's quite that nice. I don't think. The staples so close together. There we go. get the nicest uh, walking liberty I have and then <laughs> that ain't too bad that was 15 there's still a lot of I'll have to put this uh, on the bigger rig and take a look at it up close see how it looks I'll put that in a should call it two because that's a nicer one So nice pickups, not too bad. You know, the Kennedys are what they are. I don't like too terrible. Man, I don't know why my autofocus is all screwed up today. But let's take oh, what is that one? Also 64. All right, well, my autofocus is misbehaving anyways for some reason, so I'm just going to cut the video here. It's been uh, a long one anyhow, so you guys have a great one. I'll be coming out with a pretty cool channel update video soon if I didn't put out before this video, which I might have because I'm actually going to film it next, so I have the time to film, yay. So, all right, see you guys. Bye-bye.